Hi, this is Christy Whitman with the Quantum Success Show where you can get your information and inspiration to create your desires. So today I want to talk about I am. Obviously, you saw some cute little boys talking about how they are. I am this, I am that. And what we say to ourselves, I am successful, I am a jerk, I'm an idiot, I am pretty, I am fat, you know, any of the statements that we make about ourselves really affect us on such an energetic level because words have power. And when you have this identification within yourself, especially your early identification with yourself, it affects everything in your life. We create from our beliefs and we especially create from our beliefs about ourselves. And I'll say that my early conditioning, I was not, you know, like we think I am girl, I am boy, what our earliest conditioning is. I literally was told I am a pain in the ass. And while I was very, very small, I remember I was a year and a half old and my godmother, Marianne, she was changing my diaper and I looked up to her and I said, Marianne, you're a pain in the ass because that for me meant love. So my earliest conditioning was that I am a pain in the ass. And I lived from that place, from that point, for most of my life until my 20s. And then even beyond that, even though I started working on that identification, it still became who I was. And even in my day-to-day -day life now, as much work as I've done on myself, sometimes it shows up. And the good news is that now I can recognize it, I can release it, I can do something different. I have a choice, I'm consciously aware of that. But it's so important, like I can continue to calm down and say I'm just a pain in the ass. I could just buy into that or see I'm too much for somebody or you know, I, I just, I'm not enough. You know, Whatever we're telling ourselves continues to feed in and perpetuates what we create in our lives. So I've been working with a journey called the subpersonality journey for about 15 years now. And whenever some of my little I am personalities, my places where I identify myself as, when they come up and they sometimes rear their ugly little head, I will go and do this meditation, this journey, because there are subpersonalities. We have our personality and we have subpersonalities. And these are different parts of ourselves that was created based on what we were told about ourselves, I'm a pain in the ass, I'm too much, I'm not enough, you'll never be at Mount to anything, you'll never be successful, and even the good stuff. You're so cute, you're adorable, wow, you're funny. You know, whatever we were told about ourselves and then we accept it as true and it became our I am statement, I'm fabulous, I'm amazing, I'm successful, whatever those were, those subpersonalities were developed. And a lot of times they were developed to protect us or help us or empower us or they had some kind of job to do. And a lot of times the job that they did served us, but now it no longer serves us as we're evolving, as we're becoming more conscious, as we're changing. And the things that used to kind of be our um, protection points for ourselves, you know, kind of used to protect us from other people or um, kind of helped us with, with our own emotions, they no longer serve us and they need to be evolved. So as a gift to you below the video, I am giving you the subpersonality journey. And in this journey, you will be able to take a part of you that might be holding you back from success, that may be holding you back from uh, really stepping into who you really are, you know, the potential that already is within you. Nothing needs to be added to you. Nothing else needs to, you don't need to change or do anything else. You're already this fabulous, amazing being. So it's more like taking the conditioning and the I am statements that we accepted as true off of us and evolve to get to the place where we really are back in our true nature, the wonderful, wonderful being that we are, the powerful creator that we are. So I invite you to do the subpersonality journey and tell me in the, in the spot below, give me your comments. I want to continue this conversation with you. Let me know, what are some I am statements that you used to say or that you still say that you're willing to give up so that you can be a more empowered and deliberate creator? Thank you so much and have an awesome week.